Hi, Gray Mountain. Happy Earth Day. It's April 22nd, and it's one of my favorite days of the year. And you know why? It's because people around the world are celebrating this amazing planet that we live on. And aren't we lucky to live in the Yukon, where there's mountains and rivers and animals and nature everywhere? I think we live in one of the best places in the whole world. I just got home from a walk with my dog on the Millennium Trail, one of my favorite spots. And I saw some really cool things that I wanted to tell you about. I saw swans. I think there was eight of them and they were just hanging out in the Yukon River and they were honking and squawking. I don't know what they were talking about, but they were having a good time. I also saw birds flying everywhere. I heard them chirping. I saw dogs walking. I saw maybe fish swimming in the river, I'm not sure, but lots of amazing stuff. And I thought, hey, what a perfect day, it's Earth Day, why don't I go out and collect some stuff for my nature journal? And I hope you guys are doing that too. So I wanted to show you what I found. First thing, my favorite plant in Yukon is the rose hip, because you can make tea out of it, you can just smell it or taste it. When I walk the Millennium Trail, I noticed that a lot of the rosehip plants still have little buds on them. So that means that these guys survived the winter. Really cool. They're also on their branches. If you see them, you'll notice they're really spiky. That is a neat thing to me because this plant has built its own protective armor. It doesn't need anything else. It's got these little spikes so that animals don't eat it. Because if they come close, they don't want to touch this. It's too spiky. Way to go, rosehip. Super cool. Next, I found these things. I don't even know what they are. They kind of look like outdoor pillows for forest fairies. They are plants that have survived, or this is what they've done in the winter. And they've created these really soft, flowing things that I just thought I had to put in my nature journal. And maybe I'll research and find out what they actually are. What else did I find? Oh, some trees had buds on them, these nice soft buds. That means spring is coming. When I see these buds, I feel, oh wow, spring is in the air and lots of growth of flowers and trees is going to happen. I also found these little weird things which have some fuzzy stuff on them and some spiky things. These are what trees do in the winter when they are protecting themselves from the cold weather. They kind of do a form of hibernation. They close themselves off. So all of these things I'm gonna put inside my nature journal. I hope you guys have made your journals. And if you haven't, you can watch the other video that shows you how to make them. So remember, when you open up the journal, you have a bag in here, outdoor treasures. So I'm gonna stick all of mine inside there. I also haven't had time to decorate my nature journal. And so I think I'm gonna take my buds from the trees and maybe my rose hip, and I'm gonna glue them in here and do some painting around it. So next time I'll show you that. I also haven't colored the outside yet or put my name on it, so I've got to do that. Well, I'm going to be busy today on Earth Day doing all this stuff. I thought I'd show you one more quick thing. You all know that on Earth Day and every day, we try to reduce, reuse, recycle. So I just finished a Kleenex box and I noticed, oh, it has a lovely flower design on it. And guess what? Since I'm home more these days, I'm reading more books. Hmm, I need a new bookmark. Why don't I take this Kleenex box and transform it into a bookmark? You can do that at home too. You might not have a Kleenex box, but you might have just a piece of cardboard from a cereal box. Who knows, but I bet you can find something to make it with. So all I'm gonna do is take my scissors, and I know you all have scissors from your packages, and I'm just gonna cut a shape. So I think I'm going to make it kind of a rectangle shape, but you could really make it any shape you like. And I am going to cut it out, and then I have a one hole punch here. So I'm going to make a hole in the top. If you don't have a one hole punch, you can just use scissors and make a little hole. Then I thought, oh, what is a great thing to recycle? Craft supplies. I have so many craft supplies that I reuse over and over and over. So I hope you have a piece of string or yarn at home that you might be able to use. I've got a green one because it's Earth Day. So I thought, hmm, let's do a green one. So I'm just going to put that through 
through the hole and that'll be the part that hangs out at the top of the bookmark. I'll just tie a little knot at the top and voila, an Earth Day bookmark. It's got green on one side from the Kleenex box and the other side, I'm gonna get out my markers and I'm just gonna go crazy and decorate. Maybe I'll draw, hmm, my favorite insect, the bumblebee. Speaking of that, my tummy's starting to rumble. So I think for Earth Day, I'm going to go now and have my favorite snack, which is toast and a little bit of honey because it reminds me about Grey Mountain Bee Day and how much I love bees and how important bees are to this planet. So go and have a great day, Grey Mountain. Get outside and do something amazing. Take a picture and you can send it to Mrs. Burns and she'll put it on the website so all your friends can see. Great to see you. Happy Earth Day. Bye-bye.